Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Pop and Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing. And today, uh, I've got a shoe that I've been waiting to get my hands on, but before we even get started, this is the new Kyrie 6, and let's just keep this video short, and I'll be totally honest with you guys. You should probably get this shoe. It's probably one of the best basketball shoes that's out right now. Uh, Kyrie 6 video unboxing review done. All right, so for those of you that actually want to stick around, again, this is the Kyrie 6. This is the black and white colorway. And obviously, as you can see, it comes in a very cool box. I've seen a few unboxings here on YouTube, but nobody really focused on the box. And I love what they're doing with the box here, just adding some color to it and changing things up a little bit. As a person that collects sneakers, the different boxes always excite me a little bit because you get to see some of the artistic things that some of these designers do with the boxes and the packaging. And to me, that's part of getting a shoe, especially when you collect shoes or when you have a bunch of shoes, seeing the different boxes, they add the different personality to the shoes. And this personality of this shoe is, well, it's very, very crazy to say the least. So let's jump right into them and get these out of the box. And oh, man, these are so, so good like probably again these are the basketball shoes that you can get and these are unlaced already because i tried them on already because i was excited to put these on my feet um but let's get one thing out of the way before we get too far and too deep into this review yes these do look like the nike yeezy 2 in a sense in my mind these are kind of like the nike yeezy 2.5 but the performance version so basically if nike made a performance version of yeezy shoe i feel like this is what they would look like this shoe right here the nike Kyrie 6 there's something very kanye-esque about this shoe but that's just the visuals of it and that's part of how nike is actually marketing Kyrie shoes they're telling us that it's one part his performance style and one part of the athlete's actual personality and we know of all the people that we know of in the nba that have signature shoes very few if any have the sort of personality that people gravitate to like the way we gravitate to Kyrie irving's personality there's something very special very unique about him that extends beyond his time on the hardwood that keeps us as a community as a basketball community as a sneaker community intrigued in what Kyrie does but let's get to the shoe so first of all let's start off with the performance on the upper so they have this textile material that they use on the upper it's nice and soft but it's firm enough where it's not going to tear up really fast for those of you that like to play outside i know Kyrie's shoes are only 130 bucks which allows some parents to buy those for you to play with those outside it's not like it's the most expensive shoe in the nike catalog or basketball shoe out there so having something that is reasonably priced and that you can also play in outside that's very nice and this shoe uh fits that category so there's this like a text out here it looks like a mesh here maybe like a ballistic mesh that they have here uh for those that like to drag their toe they not only have a rubber piece now this is a rubber piece now usually they put like fuse here for this piece here when you rub over the toe but they actually put some rubber here and it's like a pebbled rubber almost so it has these almost like a bit of extra traction so even opposed to just like the fuse to protect your front toe there the rubber here is like pebbled to give you like an extra thing to stop you from when you're running and when you're moving and if you actually look really really close there's actually a constellation in there i don't know my astronomy very well but there's a constellation in there that i'm not familiar with and what i'm gonna guess is that that's his mother's constellation but don't quote me on that uh, we'll have to find that and do a little bit of research. So back to the shoe. Now, the rubber also rolls up around here on the inside as well as part of the traction of the shoe. So not only do you get this part over the toe, you actually get rubber here from the outsole giving you that extra traction as well. So it's almost like you have double the traction there at the toe. You get a little bit of that sensation still happening here around the heel as well. And then here on the outside as well, you get it right here where you see the zoom. There's a zoom piece right here to point out that the shoe has the zoom turbo inside of it now for those of you that rocked the original Kyrie, those had zoom in them as well but this is the turbo zoom as they're calling it and it's 240 times more zoom than they had in the original Kyrie shoe so the original Kyrie had like a thin 
line of zoom, whereas this one has like a full bag here in the forefoot and you can really feel it in the shoes. I stepped forward in the shoes when I tried them on, just kind of testing them out, seeing what it felt like. And you can feel the zoom there in the front. The back of the heel is kind of placed down a little bit. So it's it's almost sunken down. I believe they said there's a five millimeter drop here in, in the last, but you can feel with that zoom unit, it almost picks you up off the shoe. As you can see here with the shoe, when I step towards the toe, you see it kind of gives you a little bit of a lift there when you're trying to keep it even and flat. So it gives you that little extra bit of room there on the shoe. Uh, continuing with performance, they have this strap, which obviously has a sort of aesthetic appeal, but uh, Kyrie has even been quoted as saying that he loves the 90s and straps on your shoes in the 90s was a very big thing. And that's what this shoe is kind of inspired by, that 90s vibe. But this also provides you obviously some lockdown on the front and there's tons of velcro here for you to attach the velcro to so it's not like there's just like a little thin strip that you can attach to there's there's like a patch i would good i would say a good two to three inch patch here that you can actually lock it in to keep you locked down to tighten up that shoe a little more if you like that sort of feeling or you can do it a little looser to give you some room to move around if that's what you prefer but it's definitely there uh the tongue is i'm sorry the strap is made Made out of rubber and it has a symbol there I believe that's an eye uh, which you have there which is uh, I believe the same eye that we have here on the outsole of the shoe but again don't quote me on that I'm not sure what that symbol actually represents there's a pyramid or a triangle and an eye on the inside again that's more of the personality of Kyrie coming out within the shoe now, moving on to the heel, they have a, another healing hand here, which again is another symbol that Kyrie loves. So the healing hand, it actually extends around the heel to right, almost say like right the bottom part of your heel and your ankle, and it goes up like towards your Achilles. And it's shaped very well and extrudes from the shoe, kind of like those, like, like the spine sort of feel that you saw on the Yeezy 2. This kind of mimics that feel a lot, and that's where we get a lot of that Yeezy feel with this shoe. Now, something else that happens with this shoe as we get the heel, talk about the ankle, is the ankle section here. This midsection of the ankle is made out of leather, and it's really really nice now i know that there are other pairs that are coming out but i'm not sure if they're going to be made out of leather like this this is a really nice soft leather and again these are only 130 bucks again this is the large colorway in black and white but you get this leather here that's just so so nice it's it's one of the the standout features that i would say of the Kyrie 6 just because it gives you so much texture to the shoe and then ben went further and did like a stitched nike swoosh here so it's not just glued on it's actually stitched into the shoe and like the stitching is impeccable on here usually like stuff like this you'll see a little small imperfection here a small imperfection there but these look fantastic i mean they did a really great job with the stitching and it really adds a little bit more character to these and i really appreciate that they put in that extra work with these now something that they pointed out in the news release when the Kyrie six was the tongue so Kyrie likes a fat tongue almost like a nike sb and you can definitely feel that with this tongue there's a lot of cushioning in there which is great again especially when you're going to have something like this strap go across your foot you're going to want that padding there so that this doesn't dig into your foot especially if you like it really tight you don't you want it tight but you don't want it to dig into your foot so that padding on the tongue is going to provide that protection that you need there and then you obviously have Kyrie's logo right there on the tongue and then they use some leather here behind just for the top part and the rest of it feels like it's like a neoprene with some padding underneath it now speaking of padding this midsole is cushioned as well and what i understand is that it's an injected phylon they didn't specifically say that in the press release but that's some of the things that i've heard is that this is injected phylon which is something that nike has used for years and years and years and it's usually really really good again i haven't had a chance to play in these i just had a chance to stick my feet in these and it felt great from what i did so far just kind of running around here in the house and wearing them around the corner real quick so i like the cushioning that i felt in these so far so if you're into that ejected phylon with the zoom there at the toe then this is a load setup that you 
you're definitely going to like. Then on the outsole, there are a couple of details that I wanna point out to you. The most obvious, the eyes that you guys can see there. But on the inside, on the medial side of the shoe, Right here it says Azuri, which is Kyrie's daughter. And then it says Elizabeth, which I believe is Kyrie's mother. And both of them have a constellation here right above the name. And I believe that's the same constellation as their birthdays because it has their name, Elizabeth. Then it says 8, 13, 67. And then it says Azuri and it says 11, 23, 15. And then there's a constellation there. And I believe that's, again, I believe that's the constellation of their birthdays. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I believe it is. And the final detail here is the six. There's nowhere else on this shoe does it say six, but right here on the inside, you can see it's kind of holes. It's almost like it's perforated into the strap there where it says the six. And then on the shoe here, it's you can barely see it, but it says engineered to the exact specifications of Kyrie Irving, which is obviously something that you see uh, on all the Nike signature shoes. They usually have it for Jordan shoes, the greatest athlete of all time, or LeBron James. In this situation, it's going to be Kyrie Irving. Now, again, these cost $130. They're going to be available on November the 22nd if you want to grab yourself a pair. Uh, I do think that this will be one of, if not the most exciting basketball shoe of 2019 and 2020. I just feel like there's a lot of opportunity with the look of this silhouette because it has such a crazy lifestyle appeal that I think people will really get into it. Uh, so with that being said, uh, let me know what you guys think about the Kyrie 6. Is this a sneaker that you're interested in? Do you see yourself buying a pair of these? Again, they released on the 22nd for $130, which is a very good price for a quality basketball shoe like this. The quality, the craftsmanship, the materials, the technology, it's all here in this one. And again, I think this is gonna be one of the best for the next 12 months or until we see the next Kyrie shoe or we see what else is coming from all of these other brands. Anyway, that being said, guys, as always, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you really, really like what you see here, why don't you go ahead and turn on those notifications. I'm Jacques Slade, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.